Oh, so there's something smoking over there. Where? Oh, that's where it's at. Apparently, we have a problem. The LOI does not start. Apparently, there was a loud popping noise under the hood. So we gotta go check it out. A lot of you guys don't really know. For the last couple weeks, I've been letting Donnie drive my LOI to work because we took his L5P apart because we gotta do a water pump on his truck. Coincidentally, his C10 that he purchased, also the water pump blew. I wouldn't be surprised if my LOI now has water pump failure. He started the truck, went back inside, and he let it idle. And then when he got in and he was about to drive, he heard something pop. He said it was loud enough for him to hear it in the cab. So, to me, like, I'd understand if something loud popped while I was driving because it could be a boot that just blew off. But at idle, I really don't see why I would do that. So, that it, it's kind of concerning. I'm sure it might be something simple. It does have a code. It's the code for lost, lost of communication with the Ficum. So... We either blew a fuse or the Ficum itself blew up, which would be weird because that's that, this would be the second time I replaced the Ficum. And it's a disaster. Well, there she is. Let's go check her out. We have all these trucks. One, two, three, four. And none of them are drivable at the moment. All of you. Ford and Ram guys are having a blast because these are all GM products right here. All right, what could have happened? He said it was a decent size pop. He heard something pop under the hood and now it won't start. Nothing, no leaks. Uh oh, wait, leaking. Something's been kind of leaking for a while. Oh yeah. Check the coolant level. Coolant level's fine. I can see the coolant. Coolant level's fine. That's one thing I was kind of worried about, but it ain't coolant. We think it's the Ficum. Good news is that we do have another Ficum. When Matt had his Kodiak, he went and ordered another Ficum online. Now he's got two. So he got, the Matt got one from a local guy, same guy that I bought my Ficum from. And then Matt ended up sending his, what he thought was a broken Ficum, got it fixed. He gave me one of, one of the Ficums. Uh, one was essentially mine that got replaced. Well, let's start the truck. Let's try to start the truck and see if it starts today. Okay. Coolant level's fine. You gotta go find the key. I mean, other than that, I really don't see what could have popped. What? Oh, huh. And yeah. three eighths foam. There you go. Upholstery for days. All right, so let's check the fuse. EDU would be a 25 amp fuse, number one. It's next to ignition. EDU fuse pops. Okay. Why did it pop though? That's the thing. What causes EDU fuse to pop? Maybe there's a short somewhere that we're gonna have to figure out. Yep. Yep, fuse is blown. So when a fuse blows, you think it'll make a pop that loud? I think so, but it could have because the injectors might have done it, you know what I mean? So we gotta go get another 25 amp fuse. I think I have one of these. Okay. Keep another one inside the truck. Yeah, when you go to work and it pops <laughs> or something. <laughs> well, if this fixes it, then we're lucky, because I was like, fix. I was expecting something worse, and then we can sell the Ficum. 
Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> we gotta give it back to Matt. Go ahead and uh, start the truck while I step away. Yeah. In case something else pops. Something else blows. Go boom. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Uh oh. Ready? I heard something click. I heard something like pop. I think uh -huh. it popped again. Yeah. You heard it? I think no. so. Turn it back off. Maybe it was this. Yeah, thing. it popped. Are you serious? Yeah, come and look at it. It popped. Huh. It's actually red. Wait, did it pop? Why is it red? Dude, it did pop. It did pop, right? Right away, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Now we trace. We start at the... Let's start from the fuel pump and move our way. What have you added to this truck different? It's got a lift pump. It's got a lift pump. So we need to look at that. The lift pump is working. Yeah, because we hear it. Because we hear it. So... I don't have a factory pump fuel filter. So we need to look at a... Oh, so there's something smoking over there. Where? Oh, that's where it's at. It's something. That's why I told you I smelled smoke. Ooh, bro, this is your fickum. It is your fickum. <laughs> it is my fickum. It is your fickum. Ooh, yeah. That's what, dude. It, it, it looks like it blew up. So it did pop that. L look at how swollen it is. I hope you guys can see that. You see the oh, smoke, fit. and it's been swollen. Yeah, we're not touching that for a while, bro. Oh yeah. Uh, disconnect the batteries for sure right now, and then we'll let it cool off, and then we'll just replace it. Woo, dude. You see? <sighs> What's smoking though? The, the, it could be the wires. I don't know what's what's smoking inside of it. Hopefully the connector is gonna be fine. You know what I mean? That's why I would yeah. like to disconnect the batteries and hopefully remove that connector. Yeah. So no no further damage happens to the connector. And it should be something inside because it blew from the inside. Yeah. Damn. That's the pop that I heard yesterday. Yeah. Well, Fickum is toast. That is very, very interesting. That's why the fuse is there for a reason. And you know, if the fuse wasn't there, if it didn't pop, something really bad could happen. Batteries are disconnected. Is it hot? It's not hot. It's, it's actually not hot? not hot, no. But it's smoking. All right, so we gotta disconnect this plug right here. It's obviously just disconnect two plugs that go into this two connection one you pull up bottom you pull down it's a lot easier without the intake in the way yeah definitely all right all right okay Fickum is swollen yeah you see it yeah Fickum is swollen yeah it's not hot though but it's burning inside as much as I'm excited giving this truck away, this is one thing I am kind of afraid of is, you know, it is an older truck. And as much as I replace everything that's wrong with it, I feel like there's always gonna be something that kind of messes up in the future. And like for some, for, for example, had I given away this truck like last week and a thickum just blew like that, I would have felt really bad. And I'm really glad it did it in my possession before I started the giveaway but now we know to replace replace it with another thickum and we're just gonna go ahead and replace like everything that needs to be replaced one by one uh, once we get Donnie's water pump replaced on his C10 this truck's gonna go in the garage on jack stands and we're replacing the whole front end it's gonna get all new ball joints and probably all new wheel uh, wheel bearings too, kryptonite hubs so Gonna really make sure this truck is top notch for one of you guys whenever you win it. Can I enter? Yeah, you can enter. Psych, he can't enter. <laughs> that, that wouldn't be fair. In reality, it would be fair, but we shouldn't let him win her. 
Nah, I leave it for one of them. Yeah, exactly. Hey, God works in mysterious ways, and I feel like whoever wins this truck is gonna be somebody who really deserves to win this truck. But yeah, this was like one of my biggest nightmares, or it still is. But now, we're gonna remove the intake because it, it will make our job a lot easier. So remove the intake, and we're gonna get to the Ficum and swap out the Ficum, and then replace the fuse, and it should be good. All right, guys, got the new Ficum on there and doing some final adjustments. Unfortunately, I have to go. So Donnie's gonna finish this up before he has to go to work in a couple hours. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. All right, it is the next day. Donnie had put everything back together and uh, unfortunately it still doesn't start. Try to start it, but it won't start. This is exactly what it did with the bad Ficum. It's like now six. Trouble codes. Three DTCs. Yeah. It's the same code I was having before. Yep, that's, those are the exact same codes that I was having before. This Ficum that we have, we, in which we thought it was good, I don't think it's a good Ficum because we had several Ficums laying around at one point and this might be another bad, bad one. So it just sucks. Now we got to spend, <sighs> buying another Ficum is going to be about two, three grand. Uh, we might try to ship that one off and get that one fixed. And that might be your best option. Every minute with the fever dreams I push a mind to a limit where it needs to be The work I got vision I don't need to see I'm picking mind over matter 